Hey Vikes, today we have a very colorful story today that involves the mascot of Sega. I'm Cody. And I'm Morgan, and your news starts right now. Recently, our seniors went around Topeka for Senior Service Day. Let's go learn more about what one of the groups did at the zoo. Weeks ago, Seaman High School's senior class volunteered around Topeka. SVTV caught up with the group and learned more about what was going on at the zoo. My name is Rick Knight, and I am the, the horticulturist on staff. Uh, I take care of anything green that isn't an animal. That's yards and rainforest and, and um, trees and shrubs and annual beds and butterfly pavilion. Uh, I've been here at the zoo for 24 years now. Oh, today we're cleaning out annual flower beds and we're doing a light tilling of the soil. We're incorporating some organic matter as we go. Um, we mulch our beds in the summertime to conserve moisture and to help us in weeding and we like to incorporate it into the soil and so today they're tilling in the the um, organic matter they would used as a mulch they're doing a fantastic job um, i'm a staff of one so this project is usually done in the middle of the winter time and it's helping me get a, a foot up on my work for the season after volunteering svtv interviewed a few of the students to learn more about their experience it was fun. It was it was fun. I, learned a, I found it enjoyable. Yeah, it was fun. Learned also new things. It's quite therapeutic if you want me to be honest. Uh, uh, we pulled, pulled some we pulled lemongrass up. up. We pulled up we pulled up lemongrass and then we pulled up stumps, um what's the other uh, bamboo stumps? Yeah, and basically just took the dirt and kinda flipped over filtered it so yeah. it could like be reused. It sounds like senior service day was a success. Thank you to all the seniors for participating. That seemed pretty cool. Now on to your news. Market day is on Monday. We go to Mr. Hoffman for more details. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Hoffman, so we're gonna learn a little bit more about Market Day. So what is Market Day? Market Day is a project that the entrepreneurship class puts on. It's a project that enables them to have a small taste of what it's like to be an entrepreneur. They have to come up with a product, um, create it, spend the money to provide it and then sell it uh, and then hopefully they can plan properly and provide the product that's at a value to the customer that will enable them to make a profit but like any business venture profit's not always a guarantee so there's a chance that they could lose money on the deal as well okay who can participate in the project well, the students in the entrepreneurship class uh, basically put themselves in groups and those groups become a business um, and they budget, plan, do what they need to do the, to provide the product. And then the customers are the students at school. So any student that wants to come to market day to buy any of the products that they are providing are more than welcome to. Okay, and what does the money go to? Well, the money goes to covering their expenses, uh, just like any other business that puts money into a business venture. Uh, that's the risk-taking element that's associated with it. Um, there's no guarantees that when you go into business that you're going to be a profitable business. You have to be able to plan accordingly and, and do what you need to do to make your business be profitable and that the customer sees value in it. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add? Come to Market Day, it's on Monday the 19th. <laughs> All right, thank you. Remember Vikes, Market Day is on Monday, so remember to bring your money. A binder full of notebooks and a calculator was left in the library yesterday. If it's yours, please stop by the library. Congratulations to senior Meredith Lewis who received Best of Show honors at Washburn University. 
If you want to visit Boston and New York, stop by the library Thursday, November 29th at 7. Anyone interested in purchasing a Robotics Club t-shirt should turn in their order form and check to Mr. Kuhn and N15 by November 30th. This week's safe gift card winners are Kelly Gar and William Gr Griffith. Stop by the security office to pick up your prize. The Writing Center will be closed after school next Tuesday. If you're interested in volunteering in Doorstep's Christmas store the week of December 10th, check School G for more information. The Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winner banner design representing fine arts. Entry deadline is December 21st. Now let's see what's up with the sports after this commercial break. <music> Where'd you get all that food? I got it at Market Day. What's Market Day? Market Day is November 19th during seminar. Yum Toe will be selling cookies and brownies. The Harachat Company will be selling cookies and ice cream. The Four Leaf Foods will be selling fruit snacks and fruit punch. And Beans will be selling pizza and snow cones. Remember, Market Day is November 19th during seminar. Bring your money. Market Day! There will be meetings on Monday, November 19th for students interested in bullying. Check Schoology for more information. The cheer showcase was held earlier this week and there is a competition coming up. Let's go over to Allie to learn more. The cheerleaders are competing tomorrow at the Expo Center for the 5A state competition. The cost to get in is $15 and parking is $5. The girls perform at 415, 523, and 630. Come support your Viking cheerleaders. That was really cool. Make sure to check it out if you're interested. Now over to weatherman Josh Duncan for the weekend forecast. Well, Vikes, it's another pleasant day with plenty of sunshine for your Friday. But as we head into the later portions of this weekend, we're tracking another Arctic air mass invading from the northern plains, leaving us with some much colder weather that's going to start for the first half of your weekend. And that comes along with a snow chance. We have been talking about it. Now let's time it out for you hour by hour. Most of the day, Saturday should be dry, but it's as we head past sunset that we start to see this band of snow developing in northern Kansas and heading after 9 p.m. into the midnight time frame. It's a very narrow band, but could be moving into the Topeka area right around midnight, continuing through the wee hours of the morning before it kind of diminishes and shifts off to the east by sunrise on Sunday. So it's not going to be a whole lot of snow, but we could see up to a dusting with little to no accumulation and perhaps some isolated slick spots Sunday morning. So just be cautious if you're going to be out and about Sunday morning. But overall, it's just going to be a very cold weekend. And as you can see here on your SVTV seven day forecast, that cold snaps right away for much of next week. Turkey Day right now, 57 degrees. Now, back to your anchors. So what's the mascot we're talking about today, Cody? Well, it's Sonic, of course. This is also the game that brought Sonic out of a dark age. What most people consider, anyway. We go to me for more details. Sonic Colors, a game originally released on this day for the Wii and DS, has hit its eight-year anniversary and is considered to be the one that brought Sonic out of a dark age. Some of our students have played the game, so we go to them for more info. Eggman, the main antagonist, has built a world like in space and captured aliens known as Wisps. Basically, the Wisps are a powerful race of aliens for each a different type and each have different abilities like from one and the other. Sonic and Tails go to that world thinking it's an amusement park, but later they realize that Eggman is capturing these Wisps to feel a powerful weapon. The basic objective of each level is to run through it as fast as possible to get to the goal ring or Wisps castle 
at the end of the level, using Wisp power-ups to help you traverse each level. Wisp are like power-ups for Sonic, but instead they're aliens. There are six or seven worlds in total. You have the first one, um, uh, the main attraction area, area, a uh, plaza, basically where like all fireworks and fiesta starts. The second world is a sweet world, lots of candies and such as that. The next one is a, it's actually the planets of the Wisps world, though it's in a construction state, so there's that. Uh, the next one is an aquarium world, basically it's like Japan in the sea. After that is the Astro Park, an incomplete roller coaster that looks very cool when you uh, ride them. And another one, the uh, Starlight Express. Basically, it's kind of like um, uh, it's like riding motorcycles in space with a lot of light in them. It's really cool. The Dark Age of Sonic was a time when Sonic games were doing poorly, with some of the most infamous games being Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic 06, and Sonic Unleashed. Most Sonic fans consider Colors the game to take Sonic out of the Dark Age with this colorful entry into the series. It's basically just all the daytime versions of the Sonic levels in Unleashed, kind of themed in the Wii U versions and everything and that's what we got. For Sonic Colors, it's a pretty interesting game. Um, it'd be pretty fun for newcomers to pl try it out too, but um, I would really recommend it. I mean, it's got some good strategies, strategies for like timing, it has beautiful graphics for it being on the Wii, and it's kind of got a fun storyline, especially when you play with the powers a lot. Like, you can always test out each and every new ability. With a lighthearted but fun story with some fast-paced action, with tons of replayability as you unlock more wisps, this is a game worth its praise, and it's still fun to play today. Cody Kaiser, SVT. Wow, Cody, that seemed really interesting. Yep, glad I can spread the word. The next story I'm going to be doing is going to be a smashing success. We'll see you next time, Vikes.